you kids! Quit smashing pumpkins! You be good, or the boogeyman will get you! having the party tonight. It's perfect. You don't really believe it's haunted, do you? <laughs> I hope so. Come on, let's go get back, sir. Not yet. No peeking. <laughs> We've been working on this all day. You gotta wait and take in the full effect. All right. Ta-da! Terrific, guys. Why, oh, I bet that's the most original costume of this or any Halloween. You were right, Beans. It's much better than the Charles Manson idea. Let's get a move on, Scooter. There's all kinds of treats waiting for you. Yeah. What do you say we tried on some Halloweeners? Hunting scooter. In your neighborhood. We're helping out the FBI. Apparently, Jackie Gardner escaped from prison last night. Jackie Gardner. The Gardner of Death, the All Saints Slayer. A.K.A. The, the Pumpkin, Pumpkin Princess. We figure UGLI helped with the breakout. Now, what Mr. Sue wants with a notorious lunatic like the Pumpkin Princess, we can't figure. Whatever it is, it's gonna be a scary Halloween. I hear she kills people just for wearing green. Green, yeah. Her mother forced her to eat broccoli when she was a kid. She hated it and snapped. It happens. So why don't they just cancel Halloween? We'd have a panic on our hands, Beans. But nobody knows she's escaped. And we figure she'll quickly give herself away anyway. You see, the pumpkin princess has an insatiable sweet tooth. She's overdue for a monster-sized candy scarf out binge. Well, tonight's the night for that, all right. Keep an eye on things for us, Beans. I'm always close by. Beans, hold up jungle warriors. Make us late for party. Who's the bloodsucker? Ah, uh, it's just leaving. Bye, Dracula. Bye-bye. See you, Drac. We should really put an edge limit on this thing. Come on in. Beans, you haven't even mentioned my costume. What do you think? It's got some great spots. Yeah, I think I'd skin her myself. Thanks, Woodchuck. It's shop. Wood shop. So, where's the pumpkin carving party going to be? They're having the party at Jackie Gardner's pumpkin farm. It should be very creepy. Gardner? The pumpkin princess's old place? Murderess. 
I need to be held very close. I lead the way. It's a fun Halloween. Okay, Scooter, let's hit the Jacob's house. Oh, Mom, Mrs. Jacob never has good stuff. I know she's a little strange, but a treat is a treat. And you shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. Another Gumby costume. They're very popular this year. Trick or treat. Here you go. What's this? You know, with all this candy eating, you're going to need this later. How very thoughtful. How very depressing. Here you go. Thank you, Mrs. Jacob. <laughs> Happy hunting. Bye. Trick or treat. This is our first try, Scooter. The times are strange. I guess people are a little scared of handing out candy anymore, but don't worry, we'll get those teeth rotten yet, okay? Cool, Mom. Dance with the jungle woman. I'll be there in just a minute, Kate. I... You look nervous, Beans. Is it the ghost haunting you in this pumpkin patch? Or is it me? Well, it's certainly not you, Kate. And what are you afraid of? <laughs> hey, girls. Kate, I'm sorry. What is wrong with you, Beans Baxter? I just had a strange feeling we're being watched. Beans, this is a pumpkin patch. The only thing watching is here are well. Pumpkins. I guess you're right, Kate. I'm sorry. Come on, let's go back to the party. They're partying in my pumpkin patch. Can you believe this? Hundreds of them stomping on my precious pumpkins. Nice. You shall have your revenge, pumpkin princess. Call me pumpkin. Thank you, Mr. Sue Baby, for breaking me out. Your techniques in combining black magic and modern science may prove invaluable to me and my, shall we say, future plan. Of course, we need some proof of your skills. Oh, Susie. Don't. Call me that. Sorry, Mr. Sue. You want proof? I'll give you proof. Would you be interested in looking over our low interest semi annual low equity homeowners policy? With a fixed rate, including homeowners and life. Let's talk premiums on a 10 year plan. Silence! By crossbreeding pumpkins with these two insurance salesmen, I have created the perfect zombie slave. Finding the proper hat size must be a real pleasure. You guys must really blend in with the crowd and those disguises. Where can I get a melon mask like that for my head? That is his head. My clumsy friend will repair the damage. Please continue, Princess, with your, uh, shall we say, exhibits? It's my most beautiful botany work today. I have combined the slick aerodynamic beauty of your average melonous oranges with the unrelenting fierceness and loyalty of the American pit bull. I have created the ultimate Halloween trick. A pumpkin that attacks children. One bite from my baby's teeth and you're infected with a rabies-like disease. What kind of disease? It might pit pumpkin carry the disease only found in vampires. Vampires love what they destroy and destroy the ones they love. Mm. If we could replace 
all normal jack-o'-lanterns with your pit pumpkins, this disease would wipe out all who love. In order to survive, you'd have to hate everyone. I hate everyone. And only I have the antidote. Princess, it's so hideous I could kiss you. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. We must find a host for our new disease. Someone who will spread it with an aplomb we will greatly enjoy watching. Well, looky, 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 who have we here? Yes, my friend, this will be a Halloween not soon to be forgotten. <laughs> Never before. Well, how'd it go, Scooter? The Fishers are giving out gaskets to 1968 Ford Falcons. Well, Scooter, Mr. Fisher owns a service station. I guess it's just his way of giving out something that pertains to his business. Come on, let's try the Shankman. Mr. Shankman owns a fertilizer factory. How about the Finkelsteins? <laughs> Gotta kiss her eventually. What if she doesn't like you? I mean, what if she laughs or, or screams? Better she screams than yawns. <laughs> Beans, let's take a walk in the pumpkin patch. It's very creepy. Like I said, I need to be held very close. Good luck, Beans. Any potato chips? Okay, can we go back? I've got a really weird feeling about this place. Means you don't really believe the stories about the pumpkin princess, do you? But if that's what it takes to get you to put your arm around me, then... Huh? Tank, look out! Is this a joke? Is that you, Woodchuck? Way to go, Baxter. Gosh, it looks like we've got a dilemma here. This is Baxter, my buddy and pal. Would you be interested in looking over our low-interest, semi-annual, low-equity homeowners policy? They cover both. What? Good Lord. Headless insurance salesman zombies. You've earned it. Oh, oh, Scooter, what's the matter? Oh, sorry, Scooter. They're hotel soap bars. Oh, cool. Oh, he's a lovely one. It's a shame we'll have to destroy him so quick. Who are you? What do you want with me? Easy, big fella. <gasps> no, no, Puddin. It's not I who wants to harm you. It's him. Happy Halloween, young Baxter. You and my vote for Scariest Mask, Mr. Sue. <laughs> oh, really? I'm glad to see you still harbor your father's sense of humor. Let's see how funny you find this. You never know when tragedy can strike. A simple homeowner's policy isn't always enough. You know, Gord, you're absolutely right. A lot of people are confused about their coverages. Oh, silence! Let her go. She has nothing to do with any of this. She will soon enough. Princess. Be so good as to release your... How shall I put this? Salivating squash onto young Beanser's bespotted bimbo. <laughs> Tonight will be the pumpkin's revenge. No, Mr. Sue. Tonight will be pumpkin pie. 
be no more of your tricks tonight, Princess. I'm sorry, Susie. Don't call me that. And it's been a real treat catching you, Mr. Sue. I think not. Looks like you maimed the wrong melon or two. Now, stay back, everyone. Or I'll unleash this creature on Miss Garden. <laughs> And to all of you, it's been a real, how shall we say, treat. We need your help. If you see a pumpkin, you must smash it. I repeat, destroy them all. It's a matter of life or death. I knew this was going to be a great party. Find Mom and Scooter. I'll make that packet of jello for your dinner tomorrow night. I'll even put fruit in it. You know, Scooter, you never know when you might need wash and dry. I think Mrs. Ackerman was just trying to be helpful. Well, I can't. Look, how about we go home and I make you a nice, humongous ice cream sundae? Potato chef, sure. Oh, Watch out! Beep, beep! Beep, catch you! What are you doing? Oh, God. Drop it, squirrel boy! They're looking for the police. I'm looking for... Go! Oh! 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 You hurry on, too! All right! I just got to get it down! It's going to hurt me. One more time. Hurt me. <laughs> Treating or looting? I've never been so scared on Halloween in all my life. Yo, at least you didn't faint like somebody. I may not remember much, but at least I was there. Where were you, Beans? Hey, like I told you, ask my mom. Rabbit squirrel. It was huge. Jackie Gardner loots at our party. It's unbelievable. I think we've all had enough excitement for one Halloween. I'll second that. And what better way to end it than with a nice slice of pumpkin pie? Here, Scooter. I'll get that. May I talk to you about some low interest, long term growth possibilities for you and your family? amazing how many people don't understand the necessity for insurance in this confusing world. Next Saturday, Mrs. Baxter has a date with a plumber, a Watergate plumber. Why is G. Gordon Liddy putting the moves on Bean's mom? Come on, Benji. Please. Eat a grape. For me. Oh. 
My name is Benjamin Baxter. I'm a mailman. My social security number is 363439357. Come on, Benji. Just one. My name is Benjamin Baxter. I'm a mailman. My social security number is 363439357. Why did we ever pay those girls in advance? This is never going to work. Baxter's too much of a family man. I bet you his wife is the same way. Precisely. And what if she wasn't? What if she were to, say, start playing the field again? And what if we just happened to come up with a nice, glossy little 8x10 snapshot of Mrs. B and her new bowl? Benjamin Baxter would be leaking information like the Titanic. Yeah. 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 Where do we begin? I'll take care of that. You just find us someone with a modicum of dexterity with a camera. You can bet your brass knuckles I will, partner. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Well, I think we just found the man for the job. <laughs> to tell through all the screaming. Nice lady. Do you beat him? No, I don't beat him. This is terrible. This is the worst baby I ever dealt with. You sure you want a picture of him? Well, I've never... Wait. Oh, don't go. Wait. I'll, I'll sell you a picture of a nice baby. You can say it's yours. Oh, this is terrible, Spike. What could go wrong next? Good day, Mr. Hum. Call me Ho. Hi, Ho. I'd very much like to commission your services, sir. I'm sure you'll be more than happy to oblige. I appreciate you helping me with my psychology homework. I just find Freud so complicated. 